Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'd like to break down a few riffs from my new single, which is out now on all digital platforms. In case you missed it, definitely check it out. And if you already did, thank you. It means a lot, I appreciate it. So yeah, in this video, we're gonna just go through some of the riff ideas, some of the techniques that I've used, uh, which I think might be interesting for you. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. <laughs> this riff with open strings, so we're in, uh, we're in A minor, it begins with this open uh, open A and then basically uh, an A minor spread triad, and then basically I play the harmonics here, open G and open B, and then the open E string, so basically an E minor triad. Or you can look at it as an A minor 9 chord. This would be a G6 basically, or an E minor 7. ring together by laying the scale on different strings. So slowly it goes like this. Right, so this is the first part. The second repetition is a bit different. Uh, it's actually the same thing but in a triplet. So. As a result, basically the riff is displaced by 16 notes. Even though it's the same riff, apart from the last note, the open G that I add, because since it's displaced by a 16 note, it was basically short of a 16 note, so I just added the open G to make it stay in 4-4. Basically, it. it's kind of a simple idea, but I kind of went for a minimal arrangement, minimal vibe, if you will. So I purposely didn't have a lot of ideas going on in the song. It's really just a few riffs and a few chords. And also the arrangement is pretty minimal. Probably the biggest track count that I have on these songs, or on the whole EP, is like 30. Most of the songs are less than 30 tracks as far as production and um, instruments and arrangement and all that stuff. So after this we get into kind of a verse section, or at least that's how I look at it. So we have basically a theme or a melody, if you will. So I kind of tried to make a melody that sounded random in a way and not melodic on purpose. So you get like very weird accents. Again, I was trying to make it feel like it was kind of randomly generated by an arpeggiator or like a modular synth or that sort of stuff. So let's actually break down what I, what I played. So it's with an A minor nine arpeggio. just hammering on the notes with my left hand while muting. So you get this like plucky synth-like sound, I guess. And I'm basically just going through the scale. Finishing basically with an E minor 7. This would be, I guess, a C major 7 up 
page. Now we're back into the, the previous part, so it repeats twice, kind of in a similar way. basically just a series of um, add nine arpeggios and mostly uh, with the left hand and then basically just picking uh, the last note actually get into the main riff of the song. So let me play that slow for you. Um, so basically what's going on here, I start with spread triad and C major spread triad again this would be I guess a D minor with this kind of melody uh, on top of that so, so I'm playing the bass note and this A on top at the same time be picking obviously then again scale but on different strings so you, you can um, you can let them ring together and obviously I'm muting the strings at the same time through the whole riff pretty much so one more time slow from here we get into kind of a selective picking run it's really just different triads uh, with the open E string in between so Just pick the first note, then it's just left hand. And then I pluck the open E string. That's it, and we're back into the, um, the main riff. Notice that it's actually triplets here, so. time we get into these uh, different chords so from the D minor I'll get to F at 9 major 7 actually because I'm also playing the open E string at the end Again, a F major seven. So the tricky part here is that finishing with the um, hybrid picking pluck, so with the middle finger, and also you're starting with a ring finger pluck on the next chord. So basically going middle finger and ring finger on the same string. F 
major arpeggio would be with the middle finger. And the first one of the next chord with the ring finger. So that could be kind of interesting. And then we also add another chord at the end here. I guess it would be just um, A minor 9 arpeggio. Uh, but again, it's the same pattern with the right hand. Just pick once, then left hand hammer ons. Again, you can find a detailed transcription of this uh, on my website. I'll leave a link down here in the description. So this is pretty much the whole riff. Let me try to play that slow one more time and then I'll try regular speed. Hopefully I won't mess it up. Yeah, that was pretty much it for today's video. Hope you guys liked it. And um, in case you missed the song, definitely check it out. It's available on all digital platform. You'll find some links in the description. And uh, if you already did, thank you. I appreciate it. And I guess I'll just see you in the next video. Ciao.